Hey, what's going on, everyone? So today we're going to be filleting a fluke, uh, aka summer flounder, for the you southerners. Um, with the one of the easiest ways that I've found um, for beginners, because I am a beginner at this as well. Even though uh, I've harvested a ton of fluke, usually I don't fillet them. So the first thing you can do, you just told me wipe the fluke down, take all the slime off so that it's not sliding around the table as much. Now we're going to make a cut starting right underneath that fin, uh, opposite the stomach side on the shoulder. You're going to cut as close to that gill plate as possible. Then you're going to follow this straight line. It's the lateral line, not this curved line at first. The curved line is going to lead into the straight line. So you're going to follow the it's a pretty faint lateral line, but that's where the spine is. So you're going to follow that, and you're going to slice all the way through down to the spine with a nice sharp knife. Wipe off some of the scales. It is easy. This is a, a, a fluke that's on the smaller side. Uh, the bigger fluke, the bigger the fluke, the tougher the skin. So you just make sure you have a, a nice sharp knife. So now you're going to start with whatever side you're comfortable kind of holding the fish with, doesn't matter. And you're going to follow that backbone on an angle and just hold the knife pretty on a pretty decent angle, um, just scraping the top of those bones. Peel the fillet back with your finger a little bit as you're going along and just keep hitting those rib bones Follow them along. Now, once you get down to this ribbon meat, uh, just follow along the edge there. It's okay if you take a little bit of that ribbon meat or the ribbon fins with you because you could just trim up the flay at the end. It's easier to try and take more out now and then trim it than it is to really try to follow um, precisely where that line is because that, that skin is pretty tough there. Now we're going to turn it on the other side and same exact thing. Just start by following that spine all the way down and just rubbing that knife along those rib, rib bones. Uh, if you listen closely, you could actually hear like a raking sound. And that's exactly, if you're doing it right, that's what you're going to hear. Uh, the knife just kind of raking across those rib bones. Now, we're on the stomach side of the fluke, so you're just going to have to be a little bit more careful when you approach the stomach. Uh, you don't want to pierce any of the intestines or get any of that funky uh, gooey juice on your fillet. If you do, it's okay. You just got to rinse it off right away. It's not a big deal, but it's better to keep everything intact if you can. 
All right, so we get two nice fillets out of the white side. These fillets are skinnier than the fillets on the brown side. And if you take your time, you get some really nice clean fillets out of this uh, white underside as well. And now we're gonna flip her over, do a little cleaning up, a little bit more slime, dry it off nice, clean up your work area. And um, finding the lateral line on the brown side is actually a little bit more difficult than the white side. So if you're not sure where it is, just flip the fluke back over and just see where the spine starts since you already did that side. It's kind of like, uh, it, it has a shoulder, so it's a little bit um, higher than the stomach area. You'll see it. The line is very faint, their lateral line, but you can you can definitely see it if you look. So you're just going to follow that, same as the white side. It's really the same exact method. So I'm just going to speed up the video just a tad so I don't bore you guys with the same exact stuff that I did on the opposite side of the fluke until we reach somewhere where, uh, you know, I have to give you some more pointers. Now, I think I mentioned this when I was doing the opposite side of the fluke. If you cut into or through the ribbon meat like I did here, and it stays attached to your fillet, that's completely okay. It, it, you could just trim the fillet uh, after, which you, you're probably going to do anyway. Um, it, it's easier to get most of the meat on the fillet as much as you can, and then just trim away some of the ribbon meat. Now, the ribbon meat is absolutely delicious. It just doesn't fry up or pan sear very well when it's on a fillet. It tends to fall off. So if you ever cook a fluke um, in steaks or whole and you have the ribbon meat, it's phenomenal. It's literally like it's like the fat of the fish, kind of like the, the fat tips on a steak. It's like that. But um, they don't cook up very well if you keep them on the fillet. They just kind of tend to fall off. So, And same thing on the upside. Again, not going to bore you with this part. Um, just when you reach the stomach area again, uh, be very careful here not to pierce through it. And now we can do some trimming of the ribbon meat we left on and we'll get really nice perfect triangular looking fillets here without wasting any meat. And now we are going to skin the fillets. Notice I grabbed a different knife. You're going to give the tail a little bit of a slice about a half inch over from the tip so you have something for your nail to dig into. You're, and then you're going to do like a sawing motion on the skin side and you can keep your knife uh, fairly in a fixed position. Um, I'm just going to trim this one up quick and then we're going to move on to the next one you'll see. You want to grab the skin of the fillet and move the skin back and forth in a sawing motion. Uh, like I said, keeping your knife in a fixed position uh, for the most part. So we're going to start with a small slice into the meat, grab the skin, and just saw it over back and forth. It helps to have a longer, more flexible knife to do this because you can just keep it really kind of bent uh, um, against your cutting board or table. And the hardest part of this is actually keeping a grip on that skin itself. That's probably the hardest part, as you can see here. It just kind of keeps slipping off. You really want to try to dig your nail, your thumbnail into it if you have one. Uh, and yeah, that's it. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry. A really sharp knife helps as well in really in anything. Uh, so just keep your knife sharp and, uh, enjoy your fish. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, ask me in the comments and, uh, hope you enjoy this video and it helps everyone out. It's not really not as hard as it looks. Um, this method isn't as fast as let's say the charter boat mates, you know, they go through, and they'll fillet a fluke in 30 seconds. But um, in my opinion, 
they do leave a lot more meat behind. So I think this way you get almost everything out of it. All right, thanks for watching.